Have you ever wondered how much football players are actually running during a game? Take this. The top college receiver this year logged over 1,500 yards and the top running back reached more than 2,600 yards. But how far do these players actually travel in a game to achieve those numbers in the box score? With performance tracking data from Catapult, these charts show how far players run each game and are split out by position with blue for offense and red for defense. Then the black line is the average distance while the bell curve incorporates standard deviations. At the very top of this list, we see wide receivers who on average run just over 6,000 yards or 4 miles per game. Then near the bottom are running backs who average just 3,434 yards in total. When you compare those distances traveled to the average yards per game on the stat sheet for top 100 receivers and rushers, you see that just 1.3% of wide receiver yards traveled and 2.5% of running back yards end up in the box score. Of course, distance traveled is just one of the many metrics used to assess players, but even this quick analysis reveals how much happens beyond the box score in a football game. Especially for positions that rarely touch the ball, it becomes even harder to quantify their impact with traditional metrics. And that's where Catapult comes in, with more than 650 metrics from acceleration bursts to contact intensity to player load that help quantify and tailor practice to the demand of every position on the field. To win in the game of football, the best thing a team can be is healthy. And having training programs driven by catapult data forming a deep understanding of the idiosyncrasies of each position keeps players on the field in those big moments. If you're ready for your team to surpass the box score, discover how catapult 650 metrics provide unmatched insights into athlete performance, helping your team stay healthy and competitive in every game.